Hello, Daz Fiber here, and today we're going to do a little tutorial on a game I'd like to call Marvel Heroes. Others would actually call it Diablo with Marvel characters. It's similar, but in ways different. So I'm going to go over a few basic things to start the game. There's actually been quite a bit of changes over the past year, and a ton of changes since it actually came out when the beta, like since the beta. Uh, which I actually did to partake in and I played for a bit after the beta and then took quite a bit of time off uh, I'm trying to get back into it now Figured I'd do this tutorial kind of refresh my memory on things and help help people out who may even want to be getting into the game First thing I'm going to talk about is Eternity Splinters right here. They randomly drop from people and it's how you actually collect and build up uh, your characters and costumes for free. Um, it is a free to play game but there is things that cost if you want to do specific things like play specific characters. Here are some Odin marks, you get them from PvP and do all sorts of things. Um, and then cube shards, you can use them to buy ra uh, fortune cards, which have random drops, um, has higher chance and lower chance to get good and bad things. And then your currency, not really overall used but a whole lot. You can buy some things, but it's not really the best and most helpful thing in the game, so it just kind of stacks up. Um, some of these things, I actually am unsure if they're even used at the moment, if they're going to be used in the future. Um, Maybe they're used now, and I'm, I'm not really sure, um, but over time I'll, I'll find that out, and I will do some editing to try to um, do some information on that. Here are some runes. Use them to combine and get different bonuses, and then these Uru Forged, which can be equipped to any character, and give you also bonuses, and then relics, which stack on top of each other if you find the same relic, and keep adding higher bonuses to your character. It's all about adding stats, and more stats, and just doing more and more damage, and getting more and more health to last longer. The relics actually stack up to a thousand, which is kind of insane, because they don't drop that fast, um, and it would take quite some time to get to a thousand. They do have a cow level in this, which you make a portal, which I have a couple stacked up in there, in my inventory. Um, it's similar to Diablo. Um, it's kind of actually a, um, kind of making fun of Diablo in a way. Uh, one of the main creator of this game actually uh, worked for Diablo during the production of Diablo 2 and was later not working for that company anymore and decided to make this one. So that's kind of why there's a lot of similarities to Diablo. Here's the shop. Um, it's where you actually spend real money to buy costumes like and all sorts of stuff. Practice. And you see they have deals for the hol holidays and whatnot. And here's where you spend those Eternity Splinters I told you about. Um, by different characters and stuff, which costs a lot more, and they also have like a, a choose random character slot, which costs a lot less, but you don't get to choose what character you can get. And you can actually get a duplicate, which you then use to boost your ultimate power um, you in the be game. Ready for a rumble. And here's where you buy the fortune marks um, for the actual real money. This brings up the the real money place but anyway up here is where you would go to crafting but I'm in the prologue so it doesn't actually let me do that and over here is the weapons vendor um, right now it's not actually showing anything other than this epic slot gear random thing for level 20 the max level 60 so that's not really the best gear to get um, but you can if you want to be really powerful level 20 uh, that's what you do and you can click refresh it refreshes to your specific character weapons that Thor can use or whatever character you are going to play at that moment. Well, that wraps it about up. Still can't go in here. Um, well, thank you for watching. And if you liked what you saw, subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas of any other videos that you'd like to see or have me do. I am always listening. Thank you very much.